you ever wondered what God wants from your life, from your future? I did and I still do wonder what God wants. What is God's plan for my life? Sometimes I wish I could have a face-to-face -face conversation with God. A Q&A session asking God, what do you want from me? What do you want me to do with my future? What do you want me to be? Where do you want me to go? In Jeremiah 29, 11, God says, For I know the plans I have for you. Plans not to harm you, but to prosper you, to give you a future, to give you hope. God has this incredible plan for our future. He knows what makes us happy. He knows what is going to satisfy us. He put us together. He created us. He loves us. We can choose to seek God's will for our life or we can choose to avoid it. Whatever, God is not going to love us any less for turning away. But we sure will be so much more fulfilled if we do seek God, if we do seek His will and step into that. Here are six things to do to discern God's will. Number one, what brings you joy? A week ago I released a video on Christian joy. I'll put the link below. Click on that to understand what joy means. What do you enjoy? Do you love working with people? Do you love working alone? Do you love entertaining people? Do you love helping the poor? Do you like to be alone? Do you like to be creative? Try and figure out the things that you like and you love. Psalm 40:18 says, I take joy in doing your will, O Lord, and your instructions are written on my heart. God will never ask you to do something that you cannot do. If it is hard, God will give you the strength. If it is distasteful, God will give you the joy to do it, even though it is difficult. Number two. Once you have found out what you love to do, surround yourself with people who love the same thing. Find a role model, find someone you can follow, find someone from whom you can learn from their mistakes and from their successes. I have had and still have role models in my life, people who do what I long to do priests and lay missionaries, people who are evangelists, musicians and even vloggers. I go and see what they do and I learn from them. These people are champions and hope givers. Surround yourself with a role model or role models, people who will help you become all that you can become to give glory to God through what God is calling you to do. Number three, pray about it. How important it is to stop to be still and ask God, God, what do you want from me? Give me clarity. Ask God to check your motives, to search your heart, to make sure that what you are doing is to give glory to God. Ask God for strength and guidance and that you will trust him and understand that he will be with you every step of the way. Number four, what does the Catholic Church have to say about it? If it goes against God's word and the teachings of the church, it is definitely not God's will. Number five, seek spiritual direction. Find someone who has been on their spiritual walk longer than you have. Find someone who has wisdom and courage to guide you through your decision. Very often emotions and desires get in the way of what God wants from us. Get someone who can look from the outside and help us discover God's will. Help us in our walk with God and help us make the right decisions, especially when it is a big decision. Get this person to walk with you along the process of discernment. <laughs> And 
Number six, get up and do it scared. Don't let fear stop you. Don't think about it too much, but get up and take the leap of faith. I wasn't 100% when I wanted to become a priest. I, I was maybe 60 or 70% sure. But I still got up, I called my parish priest and I asked if I could have a meeting with him to begin this discernment process to enter the seminary. I never looked back, but I know that if I postponed or I went with my fear as opposed to what might be the will of God, then I would have never made the decision. Don't let fear stop you. If you're scared, so what? Do it scared.